Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. Which of the following quantities can be determined from the speed time graph of a particle traveling in a straight line? So the first option is only the magnitude of the acceleration. Second option is both the velocity and the acceleration. C is only the distance, both the distance and the magnitude of the acceleration. Fine. To address this uh, question completely, I have to first show you nine graphs uh, with respect to time. Nine different graphs related to the motion, straight line motion. I'm, I'm going to give you all those nine graphs and then we will see what is happening here. I'm creating very small graphs here. And let us say this is distance time for three different cases. This is velocity time for three different cases. And this is going to be the acceleration time. Okay, so now you see, so first of all, I am talking for the case number one, that when uh, the, the, the graph between uh, displacement and time is a straight line which is horizontal. So what does it mean? It means that with respect to time, the position is not changing. So if position is not changing, this line will be a straight line that with respect to time, the distance is the same. If the distance is same, what does it mean? It means that the velocity will be zero because it's not moving. The body is at the same location even after time. So there is no question of the acceleration also. Even this is going to be zero. So now we are talking about the case number two. And in case number two, what I'm doing is I am having this horizontal straight line in the second graph that is velocity time graph. So it means that the body is moving with the uniform velocity, so the velocity is same. So what is the acceleration? Velocity is not changing. So what is the acceleration? Acceleration has to be zero. Fine. Now, when the velocity is there, but the acceleration is not there, we know that the distance is equal to speed into time or velocity into time. So it is going to be a straight line. So this graph for the distance versus time so this is the case number two that we are dealing and this is the uniform motion in which the velocity does not change. So these are the three graphs for the displacement time, velocity time and the acceleration time in the case of uniform motion. Now we are considering the uniformly accelerated motion. So this is the case number three. So this is the case for which the question particularly asks uh, the question here. So what do we do now? So this was the horizontal line and then in the second case it was velocity time. Now there is a horizontal line for the acceleration time graph. So this line is horizontal means that the acceleration is constant. So this is uniformly accelerated motion. So what happens here is V is equal to U plus AT. So this is going to be a linear graph between velocity and time. So this graph is now populated here. So one degree is increased. So here velocity is directly proportional to t raised to power 1. Here acceleration is directly proportional to t raised to power 0. So now what happens in the displacement versus time? One degree is increased. It becomes t squared. So it is a parabolic variation. So the distance will be like this. So this is the motion which is uniformly accelerated motion. Now from this, these three graphs, that is in the case three. Now with respect to case three, we will read this question. Now speed time graph is given to me. So speed time graph is given. And if I choose a particular time, can I be sure about the acceleration and the speed? Well, the answer is absolutely yes. How? The acceleration, the area of the velocity time graph will give you the displacement S1. So S1 is equal to area of VT graph and the slope of the VT graph gives you the acceleration. Okay, so our time is nearly up. So this is it. So that is why our answer will be B.